From Washington, this is the TVNews.TV for October 3rd, 2011. Brought to you by Original Productions, the respected powerhouse in reality television. Original Productions, a Fremantle media company. Visit them at OriginalProd.com. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin with the big picture, news analysis and commentary. Well, let's start with the news that you most likely already know. NBC has trotted out a lineup of primetime fare, save for Sunday Night Football, that has been more than disappointing and has now entered the realm of just awful. New dreck like The Playboy Club, Prime Suspect, Whitney, and if that's not bad enough, even the existing shows are now turning into real stink burgers in the ratings, like Community, Parks and Recreation, and yes, even the Steve Carroll-less The Office. Okay, who is responsible? Well, we look back to earlier this summer when NBC programming boss Bob Greenblatt basked in the limelight and told the industry unequivocally, I am solely responsible for NBC's new fall TV season. Okay, there it is. So that has to make Greenblatt responsible for the NBC fall disaster. And even though the season is young, what has BG done about carting off the dead and bringing in reinforcements? Well, to date, nothing. Greenblatt recently noted that he would be taking a cable TV approach, and that means giving programs adequate time to find an audience. Um, memo to Bob. Cable knows when a bad show is a bad show and has traditionally taken decisive action. I cite A&E and the Hasselhoffs, the Busey Bunch on TLC, even Beware of Dog on Animal Planet. These and many more bombs were quick killed before they could do any more collateral damage. So, to Bob Greenblatt, we say what your NBC affiliates and other cross-promoted NBCU networks have to be thinking. Exercise your self-professed responsibility, Bob. Get rid of these bums that you put onto the field and get the second team in there. Not today, not tomorrow, not the day after tomorrow, but yesterday. And now this. Saturday, November 12th, the Turner Alumni Group Celebration happens at the Hilton Atlanta. All Turner employees, past and present, are invited to join special honored guest Ted Turner, host Bill Tush, plus all of your Turner colleagues and pals for a mega event that's been three and a half decades in the making. For information and registration, head on over to the Turner Alumni Group Celebration page on Facebook. All right, every Monday means our exclusive Hispanic media report becomes available. And it is brought to you by Reyes Entertainment, Hispanic marketing for Hollywood features and TV networks. Visit them at ReyesEntertainment.com. I watch Comedy Central a lot, and it seems that I'm not the only Hispanic who's a fan of the network. Last week, Comedy Central placed two of its programs in the top 25 among Hispanic households in English language cable. Yes, you guessed that it. it was the roast of Charlie Sheen that ended up number four for the week of September 25th among Hispanic viewers 18 to 49, averaging almost 500,000, which is understandable since it was the most watched ever roast for the network and it carried Comedy Central to its best week in history. But Charlie Sheen was not the only program being watched by Hispanics on Comedy Central. Jeff Dunham, Controlled Chaos, attracted over 250,000 Latinos 18 to 49, and Tosh.0, oh, one of my personal favorites, averaged almost 200,000. Now, for the week, Comedy Central grew its Hispanic household penetration by a whopping 73% over the previous week. But it was Jersey Shore the king of cable reality that continues to draw the largest Hispanic audience on cable. Last week, it averaged 1.22 million Latino households, making it number one for the week, regardless of language. The shore was followed by NFL, and yes, Teen Mom on MTV took the number three spot, followed by Charlie Sheen, FX's Sons of Anarchy, two installments of WWE, and three episodes of American Dad rounded out the top 10 programs in English language cable among Latino households. Events and opportunities brought to you by Crawford Media Services. Create, 
post, archive, and manage your media with Crawford Media Services. Visit them at crawford.com. Attention! Anyone and everyone who has ever touched the Turner Empire, past and present. The Turner Alumni Celebration, it's coming up fast. And you are cordially invited. It happens November 12th at Hilton Atlanta. Yes, I will most definitely be there as a Turner alum, and I'll be disappointed if I don't see you there as well. Now to register, head on over to this link. If you want to talk to the real decision makers in the TV industry, sign on as a sponsor for the TV News. Now to get started, just email us at advertise at the tvnews.tv. And that does it for this edition of the TV News. We invite you to stay close to us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. And here are the coordinates. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.